Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x power of 6 minus 4 is equal to 0. To find the values of x from this equation, such that x is element of a real number. Now, in the first step, from here on the left side, x power of 6 minus 4 will make this in form of a perfect square. So, x power of 6 into square is same as x power of 3, then bracket square. Because power of 3 times power of 2, it is power of 6. Then minus 4 into square, it is 2 square. Then is equal to this 0. Then in the next step, from here is now in the form of a difference of square. So here we'll apply the break rule, which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a minus b bracket. Now, by applying this form, a plus b, it will be x power 3 plus 2. So here, x power 3 plus 2, bracket, then times bracket, a minus b, it will be x power 3 minus 2. So here, x power 3 minus 2, bracket, is equal to 0. Then, in the next step, from this part and this part, we'll apply we will make in form of a perfect cube because here there's power of 3 and here we we'll make to have power of 3 and here power of 3 and here we we'll make to have power of 3 so this 2 and this 2 to have power of 3 2 is equal to cube root of 2 then bracket power of 3 because this cube root cancel is power of 3 then it will be equal to this 2 so into here and here we will substitute this then this equation it will be this here x power 3 plus 2 will you will use this here so it will be cube root of 2 then bracket power 3 bracket then bracket x power 3 minus 2 we will use this here so it will be cube root of 2 bracket power of 3 bracket then is equal to this 0 then in the next step from here is now in the form of a perfect cube power of 3 power of 3 so into this part here we'll apply the break rule which is a power of 3 plus b power of 3 is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a square minus a b plus b square bracket and this part here is power of 3, power of 3, here we have minus. So we'll apply the rule which is a power of 3 minus b power of 3 is equal to a minus b bracket bracket a square plus a b plus b square bracket. Then in the next step, from this part here, we'll apply this rule. So by applying this rule, will use this form here a plus b a plus b it will be x plus this inside the bracket cube root of 2 so x plus cube root of 2 so our equation here it will be x plus cube root of 2 bracket then this part here bracket a square it will be x square then minus a b it will be x times this cube root of 2. So x times cube root of 2, it will be cube root of 2, then times here x, then plus b square. It will be cube root of 2 square. So here, it is cube root of 2, then bracket square, bracket. Then, from this part here, we will use this rule in this form here a minus b it will be x minus cube root of 2 so here bracket x minus cube root of 2 bracket then bracket a square it will be x square then plus a b so here to be plus a b it will be x times cube root of 2 so here the same it is cube root cube root of 2 times x then plus b square it will be cube root of 2 square 
So here it is cube root of 2, then bracket square, then bracket is equal to this 0. Then in the next step, from here, in the left side, we have this, so we have four solutions. This solution, this solution, this solution, and this solution. Now, for the this here, this solution here, it will give a real solution. Because it will, here, it will be xc plus cube root of 2 is equal to, this is equal to 0. So this is the first solution. Now from here, we'll take this to this side. So it will be xc is equal to negative cube root of 2. So this is the first solution, which is a real solution. So this is the first value of x. And this linear, this is a linear equation. And also this is the linear equation. So let's check also this will give a real solution. So from here, it will be xc minus cube root of 2 is equal to this 0, is equal to 0. Then we'll take this to this side. So it will be xc is equal to cube root of 2. So this is the second value of x, which is real solution. Now, for, we are left with these two solutions, this quadratic equation and this quadratic equation. Now, let's check this quadratic equation if it will give a real solution. Now, from coefficient of x squared, so let's write this quadratic equation first, which is x squared, then minus cube root of 2, then times x plus cube root of 2 bracket square then is equal to to be equal to this 0 here now from here we find the coefficients x square a is equal to coefficient of x square is 1 and b is equal to coefficient of x which is this so to be negative cube root of 2 and c is equal to constant which is this so constant is cube root of 2 then bracket square now to check this if it will give a real solution we will we'll use the discriminant formula so from the discriminant formula which is discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac so it will be discriminant is equal to b square it will be this square so negative cube cube root of 2 bracket square then minus 4 times a a it is 1 times c c is this cube root of 2 bracket square then to be discriminant is equal to negative square it will be positive so this here cube root of 2 so here 2 cube root is same as 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 2, it will be 2 over 3. Then minus 4 times 1, it is 4. Cube root is same as 1 over the power of 1 over 3. So it will be times 2, power of 1 over 3, times this power of 2. So it will be 2 over 3. Then in the next step, it will be discriminant is equal to, here 2 power of 2 over 3 is common. So we'll take... 2 power of 2 over 3 out of bracket. This divided by this is 1. This divided by this is negative 4. Then it will be discriminant is equal to 1 minus 4. It is negative 3 times this 2 power of 2 over 3. Now here, you can see here negative. So this here, it is less than 0. So if it is less than 0, then the solution for this quadratic equation it is a complex complex solution so if it is a complex complex solution in our problem we are asked to find the real solution so here we don't have solution it is complex our solution is only a real solution so we'll stop from here and let's check for this 
here this solution here if it will give a real solution now we we'll write up this quadratic equation here which is x square then plus cube root of 2 times x plus cube root of 2 bracket square is equal to 0 then from here coefficients a is equal to coefficients of x square which is 1 b is equal to coefficient of x which is this cube root of 2 and c is equal to constant which is cube root of 2 bracket square now from decriminant formula which is equal to b square minus 4ac we'll check if we will give a real solution so to be the b decriminant is equal to b square it will be this square so cube root of 2 bracket square then minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is this cube root of 2 bracket square then it will be decriminant is equal to cube root is power of 1 over 3 so it will be 2 power of 1 power of 1 over 3 times 2 it will be power of 2 over 3 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times cube root is power of 1 over 3 so it will be 2 power of 1 over 3 times 2 it will be power of 2 over 3 then to be decriminant is equal to from here this 2 power of 2 over 3 is common so we we'll take out the bracket this divided by this is 1 then minus 2 times 2 power of 2 over 3 divided by 2 power of 2 over 3 it is 4 then to be decriminant is equal to 1 minus 4 it is negative 3 times this 2 power of 2 over 3 now from this negative the answer here it is less than 0 so if this it is less than 0 there is no real solution but it is a complex solution now from our problem we are asked to find the values of x which are real solution so our conclusion we have this first value of x which is the real solution and the second value of x second value of x is this cube root of 2 so here cube root of 2 so we have cube root of 2 and negative cube root of 2 now let's check for only one solution let's check for this first solution here of x x is equal to negative cube root of 2 now from our problem which is x power of 6 minus 4 is equal to 0 so we'll substitute x which is this so from x which is negative cube root here it is negative like negative cube root of 2 then bracket power of 6 minus 4 is it equal to this 0 now from negative here is same as negative 1 so is same as negative 1 then bracket this power of 6 times this here cube root of 2 bracket power of 6 then minus 4 is it equal to this 0 then negative 1 power of 6 it is 1 so 1 here times this it is this now this here will make into exponent so it will be 2 this cube root is same as power of 1 over 3 then bracket this power of 6 minus 4 is it equal to this 0 then here we cancel by 1 this by 2 so it will be 2 power of 2 it is 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 so 4 minus 4 is 0 is equal to 0 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is negative cube root of 2 also for this cube root of 2 positive it is also the correct solution because here what well, here when it is positive 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 of power of 6 it is positive number so it will be the same solution thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye